Well, off we go now to Nollywood, where Nigerian movies dominate the entries for the 2024 African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. With the awards proper just a couple of days away, we will begin a series that takes a look at the chances of the nominated Nigerian movies in the top category, starting with the coveted Best Director Prize. I'll quickly just run through that list. We have Moses Inwang for Blood Vessel. Adebayo Tijani and Tokwa Adebayo for Jagu Jagu. Bibi Shashore for Breath of Life. About a man who lost everything. By the time I would come to know Mr. Timmy, he was an old man. I'm here for the job. I'm a man of John Scott Enna for, for Half man. Heaven. Oh, you two for money. CJ Obasi for Mami Water. You know the way we say our people then go vex for you. See when moms went. Where aside they do. Not be me sat and walk. How they cast them for Afa Mefuna. I'm doing Zegum. <laughs> Once you agree to partner with the Danladi brothers, we will deposit the money into your account. And to Luajai for over the bridge. Without swimming the deep end. Will this affect project? Well, joining me on the program now via Zoom is Jane Ogoye, the entertainment and lifestyle editor of Premium Times. She has been reporting Nollywood for a decade now. Many thanks for joining us today um, to take a look at the best director category of the AMVCA. How tight is this category for you? Oh, yes, it's going to be. Good afternoon, Fidemi. Thank you for having me. Um, the list is really loaded, like the lineup is really loaded and i love the mix i mean for the first time this year we are seeing a mix that is a rich blend of um, a lot of new faces some new faces and i mean the old hands um we're seeing the likes of um john scott Anna. we're seeing bb bb sachore he's not exactly new but i mean this is the first time um in recent time that um, one of his films you know is making it you know to the top um, category at the AMDC. And of course, we also have the director of Over the Bridge. What's his name again? Tolu Ajayi is also featuring here. And it's, it's interesting that it's his first um, feature film that has made it you know, to this um, category. So I love it. So I think what I also find quite interesting in this um, year's lineup for best director category is the fact that three movies, you know, um, have put you know three movies by three directors who dared to shoot films that are somewhat faith-based and inspirational have made it to this category which is very keenly contested so you have um bb sashiri breath of life you have john scott enna who shot half heaven and um, we have tolu ajayi who shot um, over the bridge these three films I have similar storylines similar themes like i said earlier on they are faith-based and they're inspired and, and they're inspirational. It's exciting to see that such films are gaining more grounds and are being appreciated, I mean, on the larger scale. Very interesting perspective right there, especially with um, your point about how the industry has diversified in terms of genre um, that is getting mainstream attention. Well, for a few people, however, um, there is not enough gender diversity in that same category, saying that no female director was nominated um, um, in that category, especially when female filmmakers like uh, Bolanle Austin Peters from Kia Kindele have given good accounts of themselves. You know, um, these two filmmakers have movies nominated in the best movie category, yet they are not considered for um, the best director prize. Do you find this a little strange? I think I find it very curious. Um, and I never really gave it a thought up until you just brought it up here. But I think it just shows that there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I mean, on the part of the female filmmakers, um, I think we tend to they 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 tend to downplay um, that part of you know their creative processes. So most of the time, you get to see them. I, I don't know, maybe subconsciously, we just get to think of them more as producers or as actors or actress, actors, you know, rather than filmmakers. Um, aside from the um, 
the likes of Kemia Detiba, I mean, who have just talked to directing and know how to toot their horn. The rest, um, the other filmmakers, female filmmakers, I think need to play up that part, you know, of their career. processes. For instance, Funke Akin, and I dare say, fantastic director. I mean, I've seen two of her works, but maybe because she's better known as an actress, more popularly known as a producer, not many people you know, get to see that directorial side of her. So I think they need to do more you know, in that regard to project that part. Well, finally, before I let you go, I will definitely put you on the spot. You know I'm going to do that, so um, don't act surprised. Um, who is your best going to be on for this prize? You know, um, you already said, and we both agree that it's going to be a tight um, category, but who do you suppose will finally nick that prize? Hmm. Breath of Life. I mean, that film was brilliant. I love that film. Um, that film just took Nollywood to a whole new dimension, in my opinion. Not necessarily because it was faith-based. I love the casting. I love the job. cinematography. I love the idea the behind the film. Yes, and it's on the faith-based. A non-Christian can also watch it and relate to it. So number one would be um, Breath of Life. Hmm. Mami Water, um, I was going to fault the um, AMVCA jury for picking that film. Uh, until I discovered that um, the film of the year and I think best director category will be determined by the juries and not the audience. Because I was going to say, how would the viewers vote for Mami Water, for instance? I mean, which has toured the world, all the festivals of the world, but we can't, you know, not been able to see it. <laughs> so I would say Breath of Life. It's Breath of Life again. Breath of Life again. And then A Tribe Called Judah. Those are fantastic films. So they deserve, oh. either of them deserve a spot. Oh, well, I take it you mean Bibi Shashore, who is, um, of course, the director of Breath of Life. We will keep our fingers crossed um, for the D-Day to see who will finally take home um, the prize. Um, many thanks again, Jane Ogoye, for your time and perspective on this Best Director category of the AMVCA. Um, we will continue to look at other categories over the course of the week, so remember to keep a date with us on Entertainment News on Channels Television. Now it's time for a quick break. I'll see you on the other side.